Good morning and welcome. It is Wednesday the 3rd of January and it's just after 10 o'clock and we'll start as ever with the Aud USD. Basically across the board we've seen a little bit of weakness in the uh, um, American dollar. So um, uh, you can see from this how uh, we've got a little bit of strength in the Australian dollar still left in because um, it's actually got a, a little bit of a green candle up there. Uh, the, um, the pound has actually fallen a little bit against the dollar. Um, if you look at the um, open interest for the Australian dollar over the last six or seven days, well, in fact, actually, since this rally started, it's gone up and up. And uh, over the last three or four days, it's actually faltered and sort of made a, a double top. So um, uh, I think now we're seeing the end of this rally and we're going to see a turn back down. We might just get up to 79. Uh, we're coming up to resistance on the RSI. Uh, I've got my trend line. I want this to go up and then come back down nicely. Uh, a nice square cut on the uh, on the trend line. So we'll see where that goes. The commercials long ratio is 1.48 to 1. I'll be watching the open interest because um, as this gets higher and we see it stalling a little bit, I think the uh, commercials will come back in short uh, on this uh, pair. So that's the way I'm thinking. Uh, here, here you can see the, the weakness on the pound. Um, obviously a little bit weakness on the, uh, on the dollar as well. So uh, that was news out a, a few uh, minutes ago. So um, we've got a commercial short ratio of 1.29 to 1. Um, I'll have a look at the open interest, but I think they're going to be adding to that position uh, later in the week. Um, Euro USD again. Um, we've had a, a little bit of weakness on the euro actually, and on the pound. So we are seeing a a, um, a red candle there. I haven't got a very street, steep trend line on this, so I've given it um, uh, plenty of space to move. It came up, it hit my resistance and it, it sort of bumped back down. So uh, we, we got the commercial short of 1.71 on this. It, you know, it, it's a five year extreme. Um, I, I think uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to see a, a, a bit of weakness in this. I, I'm expecting it to come down to about 114 down here somewhere. So we'll see what happens anyway. Uh, USD, Canadian dollar. A uh, little bit of strength in this pair. Um, that there was a bit of strength in the dollar, I think. Uh, we've come down qu quite a way. I think we might just touch this blue line. So I, I think we might just get a little bit of overrun here. Uh, a few pullbacks, but maybe a bit of overrun. And then we're going to be heading back up. Uh, so the commercial ratio is 1.85 short. That short the Canadian dollar, long, long the pair. Yeah, so um, we'll see where that goes, but um, I would give it a couple more days before I got in. Uh, USD Swiss franc um, again, uh, a bit of strength on on the uh, on the old pound. Uh, sorry, dollar. <laughs> uh, commercials long ratio of three point three to one. So um, uh, we've seen the the long ratio come off a little bit as we've actually um, uh, gained strength. On the uh, on the Swiss franc, uh, we kind of bounced a little bit off the 30.9. Um, I'm not trading this, as I said. I'm, I'm on the crosses, um, so we'll see where that goes. Anyway, whoops, come back. <laughs> Sorry, uh, USD Japanese yen. Uh, well, even with a little bit of strength on the dollar, we haven't got a green candle here. Uh, so we have got a, a, a quite an increased uh, sh uh, long ratio for the Japanese yen, short for the pair. So um, we're well below the 50. Uh, we've got a flat line on the RSI this morning. Um, but I am expecting more weakness on this pair um, uh, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm expecting quite a big rally on the Japanese yen. Uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Um, again, it shows the strength in the New Zealand dollar. We have had a bit of strength in the US dollar, uh, but we still haven't actually uh, got a little red candle there. Uh, we've 
we're coming over nicely and uh, just glancing the 69.1 I'm going to hit the uh, trend line um, I'll, yeah I'll, I'll take a view on that but at the moment uh, I don't feel like getting into it I think there's a bit more upside I think we might just hit the red line uh, we'll see where that goes uh, silver same story uh, we've got the red candle that's the strength on the dollar showing through there um, hopefully uh, we should see a little bit more upside on this come up to a recent highs and then you know on on weakness I'll, I'll be selling that back down and here you go you can see you've got a little bit of strength on the uh, dxy um so I, I did actually put a trade in yesterday because i got this red candle outside the bollinger bands and that is usually uh, a good signal that we're going to go the other way um these this is one of the worst trades i ever take if i just take something on price action uh, i usually get caught out so uh, it is only a small trade but I, I put it in just to be cheeky and we've actually got a little bit of strength on the dollar this morning so you know hey ho that's the way it goes but uh, anyway look thank you for watching hopefully see you again tomorrow and um I'll be keeping an eye on the open interest because uh, that, that's, uh, as, as I see it, this week. We had so much uh, disturbance last week because of the um, Christmas and the end of the year. Um, you know, I'm watching it now uh, to see where the money's going. So, as um, you know, we, we get news in advance of the um, um, commitment of traders coming out. So, there you go. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and uh, speak to you later.